from the local station. News 4 Jack starts now. Developing right now, two local school districts are showing families how COVID-19 is affecting their schools. St. John's County School District posted an online dashboard this afternoon and Duval County Superintendent says theirs is on the way. This comes as high school football kicks off across our area tonight with precautions in place to prevent the spread of the virus. News for Jackson reporter Corley Peel is covering that story. We begin though with News for Jackson reporter Joe McLean live at the Duval County School Board building. Joe, information on school coronavirus cases, that's something families have been demanding. Over the past few weeks, as schools have been reopening in Duval County and other counties across the state, I've been getting uh, messages from parents, from families saying they want this information about the uh, COVID-19 activity in the district or in their child's school building. Now that information is on the way or it's available right now. It's about transparency. It's about families being able to make the best decisions uh, for their students, they say. 12 students and four staff members in the St. John's County School District tested positive for COVID-19 since classes began on Monday. We know that because the district posted this dashboard about three hours ago. It also shows the number of staff and students under quarantine and for scale, the total number in the district. In Duval County, Superintendent Diana Green said this afternoon, the long awaited DCPS dashboard will go live online as early as tonight, Tuesday at the latest. The difference in Duval, families will be able to look at the number of positive cases in their specific school instead of just the district wide data. It will look differently than the dashboard prior to uh, DOH um, requesting that we bring it down. Uh, it, it, our goal is to use more of a graphic uh, type of presentation, and so that's, that's what it will be. Duval Schools dashboard would have been posted nearly two weeks ago, but it was put on hold at the direction of the Duval County Health Department. The local DOH said publishing the data would violate federal privacy laws and that DCPS needed to get permission from the state before releasing that information. Green said that permission came earlier this week and that so far this school year, 20 buildings have been affected by the virus, though she said she could not provide specific numbers on individual cases this afternoon. Other districts like Flagler County, Hillsborough County, and Georgia's Ware County have already posted information dashboards. And this week, Alachua County began allowing families to examine school-by-school -school positive cases. Now, Green said so far this school year hasn't been perfect, but she says she's satisfied with how her staff and Duval County families have been handling a difficult situation. She also spoke about the holiday weekend ahead, a pleading with families to keep social distancing, avoid large crowds and wear those face masks uh, to be able to um, to keep safe and uh, reduce the spread. The district also sent out an email blast to families with that warning. Reporting live, I'm Joe McLean, Channel 4, The Local Station.